Hey, peek your head up. <laughs> This is a rainstorm. Holy mackerel. So we're back. You live? It's a little quieter. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm doing here now. I thought I was pulling the dash, but it kind of looks like the dash is part of it. I don't see where it comes apart. This is all metal that's going past underneath the hood. This panel is part of it. So I definitely want to move this part. So I have more leg to them. I kind of want to just do something totally different, but I guess I can still do something totally different and still use it. Just pull all this stuff back, see what we got. I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> oh crap! What's, what's behind there? Rotten wood, I'm gonna say. Look at that! It's like brand new. It's actually really nice. In the light of day says so 73. And if you didn't see it, well, actually, it still hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> got the net pocket so you can throw stuff in. I'd remove the ashtray, but we'll save that. That's for your maps when they had maps. <laughs> I stuff my phone in there, can I? Your tow driver would do the mapping. <laughs> you just slide it in here and go, right? Well, it's a cell phone holder, it's yes, right? It's a cell phone right? holder, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I need a bigger RV so I can store all this stuff on the screen. <laughs> oh, look. Is that a map? <laughs> <laughs> it's a camp book. Oh, well, it's like a map. 92. Valley through 92. Oh. So, this is the valley. There we go. Maps. More maps. See, it's technically a map. Maps. New Jersey maps. I don't know why you want to go to New Jersey. I've been there once. I don't want to go back. Hey, hey, we probably have some nice fans from New Jersey. <laughs> there are a lot of cool people in New Jersey. The place. <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> You mean the roads? The roads? Is that what you call them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all good. We're gonna fix all that. Maybe I'll just look for another one of Bagel and Stan. <laughs> sure you will. <laughs> Not that I don't want another one. I want a whole bunch of Winnebago. Yes, sir. Is it raining over there? <laughs> Not in here. 
that sucks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up? Hey, you changed your shirt. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna change it because it got washed, but you know. <laughs> I don't know what shirt you're wearing, but it's not the same day. <laughs> so what what have we figured out here? Well I don't know how to take it out. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, well why would you? I mean I know, I'm thinking well, it's kind of crappy because it's rusty on the top up there. I just uh, wire wheeled and ospo the top of it. I mean, it was pretty bad at that side. But it's going to get covered with something. I mean, it might be just steel in there, so. It's not rust, that's patina. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I didn't pull the cover of the vinyl off and didn't plan on it, well, I would never have saw that, and it would have been just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so... If, if you're wondering what ospo is, it's actually, it's an acid that keeps it from rusting. Right. I don't care, what kind of is it, acid is that? It's phosphoric acid. Yeah, Phos yeah, phosphoric. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it works really good. It turns it like black. It keeps it, well, keeps it from rusting until you start touching the I ospo a lot of this stuff in here, but yeah, it's been two years. <laughs> yeah, actually, ospo on rust is great, but actually, and it helps to keep the metal from rusting until you touch it. Until you touch it. Yeah. But the, but it will prevent rust from getting yeah. any worse. Yeah, when you got pits and like you know crappy metal like that, it works really good for that. Yeah, you soak it in there, scotch pad it in. Mm -hmm. I did it, but I think what I'm going to do here is cut it like like up in here. And all what I'll do is we can make the dash come like this. Remember it had the that knee thing right here, which this is the problem. You're going to sit here and the tires. I'm probably going to cut this much more out. So the wheel tub's gonna come like this, and just to be able to get your feet in here, it's gonna be awkward. There's definitely floor space, but what I'm thinking of doing is we'll make the dash kind of come up. It doesn't even have to come up this high. I can obviously fill that, but whatever, you know, just kind of some kind of shape, maybe come straight across. I don't know, something like that. I don't know. Figure it out as you go. Yeah. It's actually pretty impressive. That's a nice big break you had to use to make that piece. Yeah. But it's fixed to the gauge too. That's pretty thick. Now I'm just pulling the carbon. I pulled the heater out. I mean, I pulled everything else off the dash, but I pulled that whole heater box thing out of there. And uh, get, I took the carpet off. It's nice. Insulation there. I had big old thick pieces of styrofoam up in the front. I'm just put new in. You don't need that. What can I see in there? It's dark. It's dark. Yeah. Well, yeah. Power antenna over here. Power antenna? Power, that's what that is. Just power. It's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now, the fun job is to clean this stuff up before I get started on. The next step, we'll just lower it down, figure out where this tire is going to hit, cut it, then figure out how we can make a frame. I pulled these pieces off, and uh, that looks really good. So, you know, this used to come all the way across, so that's where the support came from. Since I had to cut it out, there's no more support, so I need to be able to reattach. Maybe it'll get attached to here. I don't know. I wanted to keep this exposed like the rear frame ramp. Yeah, your explorer part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going straight over to Gibson. <laughs> as soon as I get it running. <laughs> They'll love it. We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's like an inside joke to everybody if they haven't seen it, but it was, I did a, a little meme on, well, I'm not falling again, on Ryan's design here. It kind of looks like a Gibson Explorer headstock, so. Yeah. Like that picture. <laughs> <laughs> what made me do it is I was counted the holes up there and there's uh, six holes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah. six string guitar. Yeah. yeah. It's the, the E string, the low E, it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> it needs to be sturdy. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, was there any wood up under that dash? I mean, it looked like yeah. there was some three there was quarter or something. See where those holes right here? There's a, there was a piece of wood, and that's kind of what gave it that look that it went like that. And it was screwed on here, and then it had foam over this whole top. Oh, okay. And then 
this wasn't, it wasn't foam on this, but it was that black piece. And then right here was another wood piece that literally just stuck on like that. It was all upholstered in vinyl too. So that's what you'd hit your knee, yes, but that was that. It was sticking out like that, so you made it worse as far as room goes. So let's get it out of the way first, and then we'll go from there. Get all the stuff cleaned up, and then I'm going to put it back on the ground and look at it. Just to look at it? <laughs> I don't. I never get mad about having to sit back on the ground. <laughs> it's way cooler than that. Hey, there. I don't mind you putting it on the ground to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool. So awesome. I did get. I don't know if you noticed behind you there, and it, what you're standing on. <laughs> no, we're not gonna talk about that yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. That's a different video. There's a tease. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't really done anything to it in a couple of months anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is crap. This is 1000% pure asbestos. How do you say that? <laughs> yeah, asbestos. 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 Some of that it's really good stuff to breathe in. Mix that with some of that phosphoric acid up there. <laughs> Probably some lead paint to boot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I still love to take the dash out, but I don't get it. I mean, I can see the screws, well, the, the pointy end of the screws, but without pulling the windshields out, I don't see how it comes apart. Yeah, it looks to me like you got to pull everything apart to get to it. It ain't worth it. Yeah, it's just... You can, oh. you can order that. That's yeah. like a blank canvas. Well, somewhat blank canvas. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's got holes, but wherever, wherever the holes are, I don't need them. Like, even like this is their idea of patching holes. They just spot weld the plate behind it. But that was kind of interesting. I like how they tuna can this thing. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, they missed that one a smidge. I mean, but geez. I guess this is the Brave. You know, they had the Indian and a Chieftain, which were the upscale models. So that's where they get the, yeah, yeah the GPS. And what, are, what are they calling the new one, the, the indigenous peoples? <laughs> yeah, RV. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, well. I don't know how to spell that or I'd put that on the back. <laughs> <laughs> A brave indigenous person. <laughs> you need any of this? Nope. Good. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to the other side now. So you clean that up and then what else you got? What's what's next on the plan for the I'm dash? Lower it down. Well, I'm not going to do anything with the dash just yet. I'll lower it down and figure out where I'm going to cut. If anything, I might cut out just a little piece here just to make it a little bit easier to work on because that was the whole intention was take it out of the way so making the tubs and stuff would be that much easier. But since I'm not going to, maybe I'll just like snip out that section there or something. Snip out the section over here, and then we'll uh, have a little bit of extra room to, to do it. And then, because I kind of need the tubs in here to really know, you know, that I can get the seat in there, and then I'll know where right. I want to put it. You got to know where your knees are going to hit. Exactly. I don't want to just assume right now and be like, oh, now I got to put all that back that I already cut out. So almost want to not touch it. Until I get the rest of it done. If I'm going to save it, then I'll just save it. That's okay. I think it'll be all right. It's still easier without the this crap hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. And the holes in there, I mean, especially on that side. There's lots of room to see. See everything over there. Yep, it's pretty good. And I think before we go, I wanted to show. I don't know if I can show them. Well, you had that picture from back here. I can't see it, but these tubs. Are pretty cool. It looks cool. <laughs> really maybe, I'll, like came out. <laughs> maybe I'll drop that picture in there. Cool. I just walked through there too. Right? Yeah. You know, the trip? Walked right through there. Oh dang. Walked right through there. Oh, oh. oh shoot. I'm not supposed to show that. <laughs> Next time. I didn't see anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright Ryan, say goodbye. Alright dog, see ya. Peace. <laughs> In the shadows. Oh well. There you are. All right. Peace again. <laughs> See ya.